team taking on Dave Chisnell, a winner just a couple of weekends ago on the Pro Tour. And this pair, two men looking each to reach their second PDC final. Danny Noppert looking to win his second PDC title, having taken a player's championship crown in Dublin last year. Clements, the German star you may remember, lost out to Gary, Anders Gary Anderson in the last leg decider of a player's championship tournament in Wigan in 2018. In fact, I think it was in Milton Keynes, Practice actually. Over. Gabriel to throw first for the bullseye. A reminder that the format for this semi-finals Outside. this year has been extended to best of 13 and the final will be best of 15. Bullseye. Danny to throw first. It's the Netherlands against Germany as Danny Noppert tows the hockey to face the German giant, the newly nicknamed German giant, who has binned the Gaga 97. mantle that he was playing under last year I think we could do the new nickname for Noppy as well couldn't we answers 60. on a hashtag please PDC Pro Tour is that hashtag if you would like to get involved in that but a real opportunity for one of this pair 96 to reach a, a second final or indeed win the title and the £10,000 that goes with it although Six the boys in the other half of the draw will be strong favourites, particularly Gerwin Price, who has been rampant this afternoon. Just in the last couple of rounds, averages of over 105 in wins against Johnny Clayton and Ian White. One hundred and eighty. Well, that's one eighty number twelve of the afternoon for the German giant. Ninety-six. One hundred. It's a strong assault on the Noppet throw in leg one, although if I was going to pick out anything there, it would be that the last dart could have been thrown at the bullseye to give himself an easier finish when he comes back. Had he hit the 25 or the bull, he'd have been 60. on it. A two data rather than the three data that he is trying to complete here. Ninety nine. And Danny Noppert will look down for treble nineteen. And it has to be perfect with the next two. Doesn't happen. So a break of throw. Fifty seven. In prospect for Clemens. High and wide. Game shot. But very well corrected. Gabriel Clements defeated Nathan Derry in his first round match, averaging just shy of a ton in that one. 6-4 was the same scoreline when he beat Alan Norris in the next round before knocking out Super Ted Everts. 6-3. 134. And then two further 6-4 wins against Ross Smith and John Henderson. Henderson, who keeps having these runs to the quarter-finals, but can't 100. seem to get beyond. What a, a very consistent start to the year for the Highlander. As 95. for the Dutchman, Danny Noppert, he's seen off Boris Koltsov, 6-4, Stephen Burton, 6-5, a much more comfortable win in round three against Andy Bolton, that was 6-1. Before his performance of the day against Mensur Suljevic. Beating the Austrian ace 6-3 with an average of 105 and change. And in the previous match, he managed to 60. see off Ryan Searle, 6-4. Interesting for both of these players. It 71. comes after a, a fairly ordinary start to the Pro Tour. In fact, neither of them had got past the second round before today. 60. Noppert had managed to win his first two matches in just... His first match, rather, in just 
two of the four events so far. And Clements in just one of them, the first one. So this was off the back of three consecutive cashless visits to Pro Tier events. Another there. Unfortunate. But Noppy will have the chance to break back. 90. Go on, Danny, do it. Go for the ball. Ten tops will be the route. Game shot. And that's why. The pair were, of course, both in action here last night in the European Tier Qualifiers. I think... 58. Danny Noppet will have been disappointed not to have made it to either of the first two events of the year was beaten in the decisive match by Kim Hybrex for the first one Gabriel Clements did manage to qualify for the second 100 a 6-0 win over Christian Bunzer in his decisive match so he would have been half happy but he'll be much happier now 100 having bossed his way through to this semi-final showdown Both of these players were actually seeded for today's 59. tournament. Noppert was 19 seed and Clemens 31. The latter would not have been seeded had we had the full take-up of two card holders in action this afternoon. Now can he take up the opportunity to take out 114? 96. Not quite, but 87 is not uh, a certainty. Game but it shot. was in the mind of Danny Noppert, and that's what counts. Again, there are a couple of those players that seem to have these runs out of a clear blue sky. 180. Not that that win in Dublin seemed to come out of nowhere. Clements' runs to the back end of tournaments have... 134. Which he's had a handful, but they've been sporadic and spread out. 180. Well, look at this. Danny Noppert kicking off with 180, followed by another one. 140. And that leaves 141 for a, a moment of magic in the semi final on, on the stream here. Treble 19. Double 12. And Noppert nails the nine. Perfection from the Dutchman here in the semi finals at the Players' Championship event. Another nine data captured on the live stream. Superb stuff from Danny Noppert and Gabriel Clements. Well, he was going to try and take an extra throw first as a result of that superb leg of darts by Noppert. A nine dart finish. We did have a couple 97. here last night as well. And at the moment, these players are just hitting perfect legs at will. We actually had one this afternoon by Scott Baker as well. So that's Ted Everts, Ricky Evans, Scott Baker and Danny Nopper all putting in nine darters in the last 24 hours. 
58. Ninety six, one hundred, eighty four. Gabriel Clement seemed to enjoy watching that as much as I'm sure many of you did at home or wherever you are watching. Noppert's job is to keep himself settled and just focus on the task in hand because it was 60. the perfect time to do it against the darts and he's opened up a 3-1 lead. Well, a chance for Clements to produce a bit of magic. Not going to happen, so Noppet will return looking at 1 4 2. 43. A 1 4 2 that wouldn't supersede the 1 4 1 from the previous leg because of what came before it. But it would have been a nice run of finishing. One to four, the target for Clements. So fourteen or treble, and now the ball. Ninety nine. Double two. Thirteen. Well, all the legs count the same, and Danny Noppert broke Gabriel in nine darts in the previous leg. Game shot. Clements has broke back in 20. I believe it was Danny Noppert's second career nine dart finish. Seventy-nine. Had hit one in the Four Nations tournament back in twenty sixteen. One hundred and twenty. Well Gabriel's attempt cut short. Sixty. One hundred. Well, he likes that. He gave it the nod of approval, Danny Nopp, but he knows he's going to fill this up. One hundred and forty. Believe his own hype. Sixty-nine. The problem that Danny Noppet's got here is that since producing the magical nine, he has started to struggle a little bit, allowing Clemens to break in the previous 84. leg in twenty darts, and now languishing over a ton behind after a dozen in this one, and all of a sudden it's three apiece. As I said, first to seven now, so it does have the chance to just sixty regather his composure. Eighty-three. The other semi-final being played simultaneously over on stream two. 
Well, they've completed seven legs, and Dave Chisnell has the advantage by the odd one. 140. Against Gerwin Price. One hundred and forty. One hundred and forty. Seventy. He seems to have regathered. 137. He's calm and cool, Danny Nuppert, this time down to double 12 after 12. 96. Well, now double three. Game shot. And we'll be a relieved man to see that go in because he wouldn't have wanted to be, first of all, waiting for Clemens to miss and then having to come back with three points remaining. 140. So 4-3 Nuppert and 4-3 Chisnell. Will that be today's final? Each of those men three legs away from a place in it. 140. And in Nuppert... Disappointed not to fill it up again at the start of a leg. 100. It is scary how many nine dart legs are, have been hit already this year. I'm already losing count. 100. I think 100. We're into double figures. 59. Clemens into a double-figure finish in this leg as he looks to tie it up at four apiece, but Nopper is going to be knocking on the door. 140. Double 16, the choice. Game shot. A choice well made and a shot well executed by Gabriel Clements, and we have reached deadlock once again. Bad luck. 65. Gerwin Price has turned it around against Dave Chisnell. He's now 5-4 up. 180. Fifth, 180 of the match. Goes to the German giant. 60. 58. 140. He's got the advantage here now. 125. Has the chance to break the throw. Noppet needs to hit big to turn the leg back in his favour. One hundred and eighty. Well, only only a full house would have done that. Well, Clemens looks. Annoyed, but I think it bounced out of the single segment 76. there. 76. Having clattered the previous dart. Well, that 180 was 
expertly timed game shot by Danny Noppert and it's kept him in front in this match One hundred and twenty-one. Clemens cutting a frustrated figure. So Gerwin Price has just completely put his foot down against Dave Chisnell at the end of that match. From 4-3 down to 7-4 victory in the blink of an eye. Averaging 101. 180. As Clemens fires in another max. So Gerwin Price is in today's final. That means we will have a new name on the Royal of Honour, the Royal of Winners for 2019. 180. Price, or one of these two, will be added to the list that so far 100. only holds the names Michael Van Gerwen, Dave Chisnell and Glenn Durrant. Seventy-two. Game shot. Well, it's five apiece, and it becomes a an effective best of three encounter. But I'm not sure the pair are aware of that, having not been in this position this year. Because Danny Noppert's just offered the fist bump at the start of this leg, and I hope that we don't. Sixty witness the embarrassment of one of the players thinking they've won the match when they get to six here. That really would... 97. Literally take us from the sublime to the ridiculous. The only point in this match where there's been more than a leg between this pair was leg four when Danny Nopper produced a nine-dart finish. Been nip and tuck all the way through. 140. But having seen that little fist bump at the start of this leg, you just kind of get the feeling you're watching an episode of Only Fools and Horses where you know what's going to happen and it's going to be funny. 140. But you kind of feel for the protagonist because... It's possible here that whoever wins this leg is going to think they've won the match. 125. Ninety-six. Well, Noppet's going to return for 105 to move within one leg. Fifty-four of today's final. And now Clements will get the chance to do just that 39. with his 85. Game shot. Well, he takes it out. Well, Danny thought it was over. Gabriel knew it was going on. Danny Noppert. Well, we knew it was coming, didn't we? But one of them knew. And I guess it was probably 100. the best one because it would be worse for the player who thought they'd won the match to realise it wasn't over. Danny Noppert might actually take something out of that. Thought it was beaten 10 seconds ago. And now he finds himself with a chance to win two legs and book his place in the final. Forty. Yeah, when Price awaits, will Clemens get the chance to pick up a first PDC title against the Iceman. Will Noppert, who 
46. Won a title in Dublin last year. Will he have the chance? 122. In fact, Nopper, who went on to have a little bit of needle with the Iceman on the Emerald Isle, if I recall correctly. 60. But it's looking like Clemens. Because he wants double eight. Game shot. And, and the, the moment of magic, the nine dart leg came from Noppert. But the chance to win the title goes to the German giant, Gabriel Clements. He will take on Gerwin Price in today's final. And we will have it live in around 10 minutes' time.